Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about Kimimoto's LED whip lights. Now these are the five foot pair whip lights. They are available as a single. You can order just one if you're putting it on your ATV or uh, if you just want one on your side by side, if you want to do a center mount, uh, they have that available for you. These whip lights are super, super bright. Um, they are uh, waterproof, of course, extremely durable. I mean, you can flex these things all day long. They can take a beating. They can hit limbs and trees uh, as you're driving through the trails. Uh, they also have a quick disconnect, which I'm going to show you that here in just a moment. I'm going to show you how to install these and we'll talk a little bit about the durability of these things. But first I wanted to show you also how they're controlled by a, it's in a water, waterproof module that is all operated through this remote right here. And uh, it has 63 color combinations. Now, of course, right now I have it just in the auto mode and uh, there's clear instructions that come with your whip lights that will tell you exactly how to operate this remote. But uh, it's very, very simple to use. You can just keep this in your pocket or in your machine uh, somewhere, uh, but you can uh, just put it on a, a single color and it's got many different colors, red, green, blue, yellow, uh, just all kinds of different shades of colors. And uh, it also, I mean, just see how bright that is lighting up my shop. I don't even have all my lights on in the shop, but they do an awesome job. There's a lot of customization you can do as far as control on the speed at which it changes from different modes. Uh, you can even tone the brightness down if for some reason you don't want to be the brightest person out at the ATV park. Well, you can dial that down right here on your remote. But uh, I love the different, uh, the modes in it. Really neat. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install these. So uh, let's get some more lights on in here and I'll show you how to install these Kimimoto five foot LED whip lights. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get your whip light shipped to you, you're going to take it out of the box, take it out of the protective wrapper, and uh, you need to pick a location on your machine, whether it's a side by side or ATV, and kind of strategically think of how you want to run your wires and uh, get it to a switch. Now, let me go ahead and tell you this. You need to have some sort of auxiliary switch or something uh, which does not come with the LED light. So go ahead and get you a LED wire and harness or something like that with a switch that can be wired to the battery, to the switch, and then you will power the LED uh, lights, the, the module for it, uh, off of the switch. I'll show you that in a second. But each model, this is universal, can uh, fit any machine, Honda, Can-Am, Polaris, Kawasaki, uh, Yamaha, CF Moto, uh, just anything out there you can put it on it as long as you have a 12 volt uh, battery or 12 volt power supply of some sort so anyway so pick your location um, you will have this is your quick disconnect i'm going to show you that now uh, it mounts here and all you do is you pull up and pull that out so you can take that apart super simple very quick but you pick a place that you want to put it now most time people are going to mount them vertically uh, some people have, uh, which they're made to mount in a vertical position, but you can, you can pick, like I could have picked a spot on my particular machine, uh, and mounted them. I've seen people mount them at a somewhat of an angle or something, but I'm just going to show you how I decided to do mine. There's a, there's a bracket here that I could easily, uh, fit perfect, but you're going to want to put that, put that in a certain spot. Like I said, pick your particular location that you want it. And uh, you're gonna take a washer, put it on the bottom side. This is all included, of course, but a washer, lock washer, and your nut. And we'll thread that on. So once you're content with where it's at you can take that nut is uh, you can use a 19 millimeter socket and i'm going to use my impact you can use a 19 millimeter wrench or uh just whatever you need you just need 19 millimeter um, hold it in place and tighten it down 
All right, so you're gonna take your LED whip light once you get your mounting piece there and this part here slides up and down. This is your quick disconnect. That's how it locks it and grabs on. But you're gonna set it on top of it, take it, see that? Now it's on there, it ain't coming off. This also allows it to freely move and swivel so it's never gonna get in a bind, okay? But uh, now I'm gonna show you your uh, LED, uh, your, your waterproof uh, cable here. <clears throat> and uh, you can, I'm not gonna show you how to run your wires because it's gonna be different for every application, whether it's your side-by-side, -side, different models, uh, four-seater, whatever the case may be, your ATV, you're gonna route your wires according to however you need to but I do suggest that you do not run it. Try your best to not run it along the exhaust. Try to keep the wiring away from the motor, anything hot, and of course, keep it away from moving parts. But uh, the waterproof uh, connector here, uh, it can only go in one way, and you just make sure you push it all the way in and then tighten this down all the way. And like I said, each model will be different. Route it how you want to through your machine. Uh, you can get as custom as you want to with it. Whenever you need to take these down, uh, like I said, if I have to get in and out of my carport, all I have to do, just like that, it's off the machine. Okay, I can lay it down. I can even unwire or, or just take this connector loose, put it in my vehicle if I don't want to keep them on there while it's traveling down the road which is perfectly safe to leave them connected while you're traveling down the road. But anyways, now let's go show you what you need to do. Just like that, it's on. These things are tough. I really like them. Uh, this is what you'll be working with, your LED uh, controller. It's waterproof module. Try to find a place that you can mount it uh, away from heat. Uh, and and you know, even though it's waterproof, I wanna try to mount it as high up as I can but I have a perfect place underneath the seat of my machine and I have a power source coming from a switch. I have an auxiliary switch, which is not included, but I'm simply, uh, it, it says, it has a sticker on here, do not wire directly to the battery. Uh, you wanna have a switch so that it's not constantly, continuously powered up. So anyhow, so you're gonna go, of course, your red to positive, and uh, you can use a wire nut, you can use a splice connector, whatever you choose. Uh, just for simplicity reasons, I'm gonna use a wire nut for right now. I'm gonna take uh, your uh, negative. You can, you can wire it to a negative wire or run it and uh, mount it to, uh, or Terminate the wire to a uh, to the frame of the machine, but I'm going to simply use these wire nuts for right now. You could tape that up really good, which I'm going to in a little while, or I can use a butt splice connector. But then I can secure this. I'll secure this in here. I'll tidy my wires away and I'll route it through the machine. But that's as simple as that. You want to make sure that your wires are not going to be on anything that will cut it. But now I can simply flip on the power of that switch and my whip lights are powered. So uh, I really like these from Kimimoto. Uh, they're priced just right. They're affordable. They're durable, super bright LED whip lights. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, you do have these flags that you can use. It comes with uh, zip ties and uh, extra rubber caps. Um, so you can put these on as well. I'll show you how to do that now. But there are certain places where you they require certain uh, height poles uh, or flags, but you'll slip this on. And then they have a zip tie included. You'll insert that through this hole here, insert your zip tie and suck it down to where it will hold it in place. All right, so now we've got our flag. It's a great safety uh, item that uh, makes you very visible uh, if you're riding in hilly conditions. 
people can are more likely to see you, especially at night when you're riding. Uh, it's a good safety item to have on your machine, whether it's an ATV or side by side. But listen, this is available at Kimimoto. I have a link down in the description. I also, if you'll click that link, copy the uh, discount code. I have a, tw I think it's 12% discount code down in the description. You're more than welcome to copy that discount code. Use it when you check out. Like I said, the link will take you to these LED whip lights. Uh, it may take you to just the single one, but you can click that drop down bar on Kimimoto's website and select the uh, dual or the, the pair, the LED pair, uh, and get that order shipped to your house. I believe you'll enjoy it. Uh, fully customizable and uh, very fun to use. Very fun on a night ride. Uh, while you're out on the trails. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Get that bell on so you don't miss a video. And uh, check out Kimimoto's website. God bless y'all.